Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.17 or 1.17.1 without Optifine. Now, the reason I say 1.17 or 1.17.1 is because 1.17.1 is going to come out right after this video does. And with that, I might update the title instead of making an entirely new video. I hope you all understand. But just know that if the title says 1.17.1 in it, I have verified everything. And all you need to do is just replace every time I say 1.17.1. 17 with 1.17.1 and this video will work perfectly fine I just want to say that up front because I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments if I don't and still probably will get some even if I do that I'm saying 1.17 in this video even though the title says 1.17.1 that's planned I know and I apologize for that I just you know we, we record when we like for the current version and then the next new version drops the next day it is kind of annoying since so we don't want to have to spam YouTube and re-record the entire video just to change a few words so nevertheless here we are we're gonna be getting shaders today without Optifine now, one thing I will say is that the page you're seeing on my screen right now is the download for Irish shaders. This is the download page for the Irish installer, which is going to get you Irish shaders, which allows you to get shaders without Optifine. Now, we most likely are going to create an article for this on our website, but this literally just came out in a way that I felt comfortable making a video on it, and we've not had the time to do that yet. So later, I'm going to say you can download this by coming to this page here. However, when you click the link in the description down below, it might take you to a text tutorial similar to this one, where you'll scroll down and click on the download, and then it will say Irish Shaders right here. It won't say Java, it will say Irish Shaders, and then you'll download that, and it will take you to this page. First and foremost, though, before we officially start installing Irish Shaders, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go check out Apex at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server set up. But you're not here to start a server, we're here to get some shaders without Optifine. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it's going to be Download Iris Shaders. That's going to take you here and again it may not take you here it may take you to our website where you would then click the yellow download button on that page and then you'll be taken here once you are here we want to go ahead and click on the blue download universal jar here for the iris installer so we click on that and then in the bottom left automatically the iris installer starts downloading in the bottom left we do want to keep the file or if you're almost out of firefox you need to save it in the center of your screen it's a hundred percent safe to save the file so go ahead and do that now we also do need shaders packs. One of the coolest things about Iris Shaders is it has what we call cross, basically support, for Optifine Shaders Packs. So if you've used a Shaders Pack in Optifine, that's gonna work and may automatically even be installed in Iris Shaders whenever you do load it up for the first time. However, we do have a list in the description down below of the top five Shaders Packs for Minecraft. Most of these are updated. Some of them may have bugs in 1.17, but those will be sorted out shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and for this video, we're gonna install two of them. We're gonna be installing Silder's Vibrant Shaders, and we're gonna go ahead and install Let's try BSL shaders as well. I will say I have not tested BSL shaders and there may be glitches in that. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and this will take us to our Silder Shaders dedicated download page. Once you're here, click on download Silder Shaders and that will take you to the official Silder Shaders download. Now, once you're here, we're going to be able to download Silder Shaders. Seems to be being a bit slow though. There we go. I was going to do a jump cut, but it looks like we might not have to. Did a little jump cut anyway. So now that we're here, I'm going to download the light version of this. Now it does say 1.16.5, expect bugs. Until that says 1.17 there, expect some bugs with this, expect some issues. That's noted. It is going to take us off to add focus here where you don't want to click anything on this page. Just stop. Wait a minute. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Wait 15 seconds or 5 seconds after the page is loaded and then there'll be a red skip button appear in the top right. So there you go. After 5 seconds, the red skip button appears. That's the only thing you want to click on this page. It'll then take us off to Mediafire where we can click the blue download button right here. Finally, it will download in the bottom left, Silder's Vibrant Shaders. Next, we have the BSL Shaders Pack, and if you're on our website, it will take you here, where you want to click on BSL Shaders, and then I believe the download is going to be on this page. Okay, download is right here, excuse me. So we can click download there, and then it will go through, and we can download BSL Shaders. Again, though, this is for 1.16.5, so do be aware of that. Do be prepared for 1.16.5. Because it's 1.16.5, do be prepared for 1.17 bugs. So that's going to download here after a few seconds in the bottom left. There we go. So now finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop here, we have Iris Installer, which is how we're going to be able to run shaders. And then we have the two shaders packs we're going to run, right? We can kind of put the shaders packs themselves to the side for a second because we need to install Iris Installer. Now, 
Here's the thing, this might not be this cool Java sort of logo for you, and if it isn't, that's okay. Just wait one second. If it's a WinRAR file, or if it's a paper file, anything like that, wait one second. I'm gonna show you, see if we can open it, and then if we can't, I'm gonna show you what to do. So let's go ahead and right click on this, and then click on Open With. And then if you have Java here, click on it and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or if your logo is weird and it's really freaking you out, here's how you can fix it. Go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Shaders is a mod to Minecraft, so this is the version of Java you need. It walks you through every single step here. Quick and easy three-step tutorial. Now that will get Java and you should then be able to open up the iris installer with Java, but your logos still may not be fixed. And if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix, which is right here. So you can go through this little three-step tutorial to run the jar fix. That'll fix your logos, basically linking Java back to the jar files on your computer. We minimize our browser here. We have, again, the iris installer. We can right click on it, finally click open with, click on Java and click OK. That's then going to open up the iris installer right like so, where you want to make sure that you're just installing iris standalone. Currently, iris plus sodium, which is going to look a hair better just so you know, is not available for 1.17, but iris standalone is. We then want to make sure that we change our install directory to 1.17, and then it says custom loader. That's recommended. I would just leave that checked, honestly. You should be fine leaving that like it is. So again, to run over these settings, select game edition iris standalone, select game version 1.17, and then make sure the custom loader is checked. Now let's go ahead and click install. And after a few seconds, it shouldn't be too long. Installation succeeded should show up here, right? That's the only indication that this will succeed is the installation succeeded button will appear. We can then go ahead and close out of the iris installer. And now we can delete it from our desktop. Now these may have been in your downloads folder earlier. I forgot to go over that and I do apologize, but I'm just gonna skip that for this video. Uh, if you do need to, like these aren't on your desktop, they're gonna be in your downloads folder. So go uh, figure out how to do that. It's, it's very, very simple. And we do it in pretty much all of our videos. I just missed it here and I apologize, but I'm gonna continue on with the tutorial. So nevertheless, let's go ahead Ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here and before you go ahead and smack the play button slow down <laughs> slow down for a second we want to make sure that we're playing this iris standalone right here now as you can see mine's automatically selected you may have to click this little arrow yours may say like 1.17 you may have to click this little arrow and then find and select iris standalone when you do go ahead and click play however however if you don't have iris standalone here what do you do well click on installations up here at the top and then make sure modded is checked in the top right as you can see i click make modded it's not checked and iris goes away so i click a uh, modded uncheck modded iris goes away check modded Iris comes back and we can hit play here. Now, if for whatever reason you still don't have Iris on this list, what you want to do is click on this new installation button. That's then going to go ahead and open up this here where we can name this play.breakdowncraft.com. Truthfully, you can name it whatever you want, but that's our own incredible 1.17 grief protected survival server. You will absolutely love it. It's got amazing grief protected survival, custom skyblock, come play this play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Come test your shaders on Breakdowncraft. That's what we're going to be doing later, actually. Now we want to go ahead and click on this version drop down box here. And we want to find release iris fabric loader 1.17. So here it is. Now these version numbers may be different, but what we want to make sure is it's iris dash fabric loader and then 1.17 at the end, right? So it should say iris at the beginning and then 1.17 at the end. And we can go ahead and select that. For resolution, we want to go ahead and click this little drop down box here. And then we want to go ahead and do 1920 by 1080, right? Like so. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so you all can see. Finally, we can click create in the bottom right. Then at the very, very bottom, we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it says Irish fabric loader. And then at the end, it says 1.17. At this point, we can go ahead and click the green play button. When we click the green play button, it's going to give us this warning basically saying, hey, you're playing modded Minecraft. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, you do. That's why you're getting satyrs to play modded Minecraft. So you understand the risk and go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft's going to open up with Iris installed, but most importantly with shaders. Now I already have a shaders pack installed. I think I may not. And if I don't, that's okay because we're going to show you how to install some shaders packs here in this video. Now, again, if you have previous Optifine shaders packs, those will load up automatically into Iris. They may be buggy. They may have some issues depending on what version they're for, but overall they will load up and you can install them. Now I am going to do a jump cut here because of lag. I do apologize. So I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu once this is opened up. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now there's no indication that shaders packs are installed from the main menu other than it does say fabric in the bottom left. To get to shaders packs though, we need to go to options and then we need to go to video settings. And then in the bottom right hand column over here, we do have the shaders pack option. Go ahead and click on that. And then in here, you can add shaders packs. Now, one thing that is cool is you does say you can drag and drop shaders packs into here and it will add them. And as you can see, it does do that. 
I have seen bugs with that though in the past. I've been trying to, I've been following this for a while and that was broken. So I do want to show you what to do if that doesn't work, right? If you just drag and drop this in here, it doesn't work. Well, then you want to go to the open shaders pack folder in the bottom left down here. See that? Click on that and that's going to open up this shaders packs. Now, Cylinder's Vibrant Shader that we already dragged and dropped into Minecraft is there. But if we want to add BSL, we can do that as well by dragging and dropping it into here. Now, if we close out of shaders packs. It's not back here. To get it back here, we need to click refresh shaders packs and there's BSL. Now, to install shaders pack, all you want to do is click on it. It's that simple. Just click on it right like so and then click apply right when you do that it's going to apply that shaders pack click done click done again click done again and we can jump into the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com it's it's truly incredible so let's go ahead and jump right on into that i think we're going to load in most likely into skyblock here uh, wow, that is that is a lot. But as you can see, this is shaders. Let's go ahead and go to aquatic survival as well. Here if we go slash aquatic. We will be able to see that we have shaders on. It's kind of hard to see though. Hold on. <laughs> this is our survival server, aquatic survival. Absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, shaders is on. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, this doesn't look the best. So we can do P time day and P weather clear. And there we go. That is kind of the shaders we all expect. Now this is BSL shaders. This is a lighter shaders pack in comparison to others that are out there, right? So that is something that we need to keep in mind. I am going to switch shaders packs here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is BSL shaders. That's what it looks like in that shaders pack. We go into options and then we go into a video settings and shaders packs. We can switch into Silder's vibrant shaders. Now one thing this does that Optifine doesn't is it shows us what it looks like in the background. So we go ahead and we click on cylinders. We click apply. It's going to reload Minecraft in the background right now. Boom. There is cylinder shaders. It changes ever so slightly. And as we can see, maybe we can get a different look here. If we turn around, you see uh, we do that again. So we can go into options and then we can go into video settings, shaders packs. This time we're going to switch back to BSL and then click apply. And it's going to change all the shaders in the background. You can definitely see the difference now between these two shaders packs. So really, really cool stuff. Awesome, awesome way to get shaders in Minecraft 1.17. As soon as I felt like this became stable, and I feel like it is very stable now, I wanted to do a video on it. So great job to the Iris Shaders team. I don't know if they'll find this video and if they watch it, but if you did work on producing Iris Shaders, great job. It honestly seems amazing. This is also 100% running through fabric. And what that means is you can install any other fabric mod you want with Iris Shaders by just dragging and dropping it into your mo normal mods folder. And that is really, really cool as well. But nevertheless, come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, 1.17, Grief Protected Survival. Can't wait to see you on online there. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your shaders, and I am out. Peace.